The answer is sort of. It's now a race against time to get stuff in before ice starts forming on. It already has <laughs> Welcome to Ratatouille's Dogs. My name is Will. Adam is behind the camera. Mike is arriving at some point, and we're going to try and dip this car. It's minus seven, so wish us luck. Okay, problem number one: the uh, hose pipe is frozen. <laughs> so. Uh... Go set the light to more of the hose, quick go! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're masking this now, which I think is what we're supposed to be doing. Got quite a lot of... Quite a lot of... Masking to do. And I don't video my bad work. So we primed the car and it's gone in a mix, it's mixed, I'd say, I'd say it's mixed. Uh, Asim saw something on YouTube where we can peel off the lights apparently, so they couldn't be asked masking them up. I know, that's, he definitely said it, 100%. You were watching the video as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our colour. It's pretty good. So to answer the question, can you spray dip a car in sub-zero temperatures? The answer is sort of. It does work. It does seem to stick, it does seem to dry. It takes a long time to dry. We certainly have some issues. We started a week ago. We started, <laughs> we started a long time ago. And there are certain things like condensation dripping out of your paint mask onto the uh, piece you're working on. Just nice drips of face water uh, is not very nice. Uh, but otherwise, it seems to have come out all right. Uh, I'm impressed. It's now a race against time to get stuff in before ice starts forming on. It already has like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's it's damage so on the car already. So this bit here, like the paint has cracked. Um, well, it's not paint, the dip has cracked. So, you know, it's it's not a cure-all um, and prep is, is certainly really important, but it certainly does, does look like this will peel off. Um, would it be easier to mask it? I've already done this bit over there, that seems fine. Um, but I think it will. There you go. So it's, it is coming off. Welcome back. Uh, we have put the panels back on. Uh, so the car has now got all the bumpers, the wings, and all the rest of it back on. Um, the finish has been okay, um, and the car's not entirely straight, it's had quite a few accidents throughout the year. So having to manhandle the metal panels back together again, it did scratch the paint. Um, I ended up getting pretty frustrated with it and had to repaint the whole front bumper actually. Um, now it's with this, you know, no, another day, uh, and we're back on to you know, putting things like the stickers on. Uh, I have got myself a vinyl cutter as well, so I've been able to print these things myself. Uh, and we're just going to get on with that now.
Okay, so the end result. Um, there's still a few bits to do, but I think I'm going to call it a day now for this video. You can see the fear finish is actually okay. There's bits and pieces um, where it hasn't turned out brilliantly, but overall I'm pretty happy with this. Given we painted this in sub-zero temperatures, um, a few stickers have gone on. There are some more stickers to go on after this. One of the lessons is prep, 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 and more prep. You'll see the kind of new panels, going back a bit, the new panels uh, come out much better than the damaged bits and pieces. You'll see sort of the damage, obviously it's not, it's not a fix all. Um, but overall, I think this has turned out okay. Thank you for watching and um, we'll catch you again in the next video.